students. Today is going to be a little bit easier. There won't be any gluing, which is a good thing. Um, the, we're just going to be cutting out the joints for our bridge. And I wanted to make sure that everything's going okay with you guys. Uh, I sent out a couple of emails asking for your uh, feelings on this project. And uh, please make sure you're posting pictures of the pieces that you're creating. Again, I'm looking at uh, doing this in the class next year, and I'd kind of be interested in knowing your uh, feedback so that I can uh, plan accordingly. If we're running into problems, just let me know. Uh, some of y'all have said you don't have glue. We're just going to work our way through it. We'll see what happens when it's all said and done. Talk to you soon. Bye. Alrighty, good morning and uh, we are going to make some joints today. Um, these are what is going to connect all of those other little pieces that we've created. It's not going to be too tough. Uh, we're going to make a section here that's going to be 30 millimeters. So one section that's 30 millimeters. So I'm going to measure that twice and draw my line. 30 millimeters. And then we need eight little squares that are 30 millimeters. So we're going to go 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, all the way down. And so I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to say 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 180, and then keep going. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight sections. Two points to make a line because I want my lines to be straight. So 30, 60, 90, 120, 50, 180. 30, 60. And now I'm going to draw those lines. And I'm not going to go all the way across because I want to be able to save this material just in case I make a mistake and don't have enough. You know, Mr. K, not wasting his supplies. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on the last, so we need four of them that are going to be squares. And then we need four of them that are going to be triangles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm going to cut them directly in half. Mark them. So one, two, three, four. And so now I have one, two, three, four that are squares and four or eight that are triangles. So that's the first part we need. We're gonna go ahead and cut those out. next piece we need is going to be some trapezoids. These are going to be isosceles trapezoids. They are going to be 20 millimeters tall and you need four of them. So to do this, I'm going to measure, oops, I'm going to measure 20 millimeters. I knew I was going to need the rest of this stuff. Gosh, where's my, all right, 20 millimeters. Twenty millimeters. Oh, and you know what? My thirty millimeter marks are gonna work well because 
They're 30 millimeters wide. So, you know what? I have too many little dots on there. I need to make sure that I know which dot I'm talking about. That's not it. Let's go with that and I'm gonna circle it because I have too many dots. I probably should have drawn the lines all the way across. If you're smart when you're doing yours, you would draw these all the way across. Because I wasn't. Probably should remake this video, but I'm not gonna. Boop. And then now I need my 30 millimeter. Two, three, four. Okay, so now it gets a little more difficult. These should be 30 millimeters apart. And now I'm gonna go through and mark them at 10 millimeters all the way down. So 20, 10, 20, that one's already done. 40, 50, that one's already done. 70, 80, that one's already done. 100, 110. And now I should be able to draw the edges and then the same on this side. And so I have one, two, three, four uh, isosceles trapezoids. Welcome to geometry. And And so you should have four little trapezoids, one, two, three, four. You should have four squares and eight little triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight triangles. And that's all you have to do for today. Don't lose them, put them aside. And I believe tomorrow we're gonna to start uh, putting all some of this stuff together. So see you tomorrow. So far, you should have some square tubes for compression, some small strips for tension, and some different shapes for structural joints. Don't lose them, set them aside, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.